Welcome along to the next stage in our journey for 80 beers around the world. I'm Adam. I'm Gary. And join us today as we take you on a little journey, still in the UK, but this time we're venturing into Berkshire, a uh, little brewery uh, called the Windsor and Eaton Brewery. Um, this is a beer that's as part of their uprising chain. Um, nice looking beer, nice looking label. It's their Treason West Coast IPA. Now I'm quite impressed by the, the, the label. It um, looks like that their uprising chain have all got similar labels to this one. What do you think? I'm expecting big things just from the label. It is a nice looking label and interestingly enough it does look like we're expecting big things from this beer anyway. It looks like they've won a few awards and there's a bit of gold that's been kicking around on this one so uh, I think this might be a good one. I'm expecting big things. I'm I hoping it doesn't disappoint. I have to be honest. Not that we if really it does, know, because beer's beer at the end of the day. If it does, I ain't got to be happy. <laughs> takes... should, we, should we give it a go? Yeah, why not? Why not? In a can again. Yeah, this one is a 5.8%. Um, best served cold. So this one is nicely chilled. So we're going to have these ones now. Give this one a try. So give it a pour. What we got? That's not flavored. Nice colour. Oh, it's, 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 it's a bit darker, isn't it? It is a bit darker. Oh, look at that pour. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. So we're yeah, looking at beautiful. a West Coast IPA, so it's going to have quite a few American hops, I'm hoping. We should get a few fruity vibes coming from this one. What are you getting? <laughs> I'm not getting a lot. It's definitely something, something there, there that's, yeah. that's West Coast-esque in our I think, limited I think experience. On, I think on this one, we're actually going to have to taste it to see what we're getting. It's definitely, there's definitely that tropical, tropical esque flavours. There's a few. It's a hint. It's not it's overpowered. Pieces, it's not as, it's not as prominent as some no, of the others. That no, we've it's been not. Trying, it's, not. It? it's not at all. But there's something nice there. Shall we give it a little go? Yeah, I've got a feel, Hang on, I've got a feeling this is going to be a bit tangy. Mm, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's, Let's give go. It a go. That's tangy. That's interesting. That is very interesting and tangy. For the for the tasting notes that we've seen, and for some of the comments that we've seen from other people, obviously because we have to have a look and see yeah, what other course, people have said. Of course, a lot of tropical fruits, a lot of peach, a lingering bitterness. Definitely, the lingering bitterness is there. You can taste that one. Quite dry. I'm very disappointed at them. It's a it's an odd one. I can't get my head around it. I have to be honest. I was expecting quite a lot from this one. I mean, look at the label. Given it the lodge. Then you taste it. I'm just getting tanginess. Give it another go. I'm not a big fan. There is a sour note. There's definitely a sour note I'm on, the, on the end. It's a dry beer. I'm not getting a lot from this. It does, um, make, it does make you want to have another one. Not one of these necessarily. <laughs> no, but Not one of these, maybe. Some... I like it. I don't, you see? I don't. This is why beer is so individual. And you this know, is why we love it. We can all say, you know, one beer is better than others, but in actual fact, other people will, will completely disagree not... with you, which is nice, because it's nice to get both sides of the argument on this one. It is, but it's... Not often we disagree. It's not. It's not. But it's nice that we've got one early on that we're not agreeing on. I would drink that. I'd drink that. I wouldn't. I, that wouldn't be my tipple if I walked into an well, that, house. That bitter on the end is quite, quite bitter, isn't it? But then again, you're a bit bitter, mate, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> not for any reasons. No. No, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. It's, it's a nice beer. Not as nice as some of the ones that we've tried. I think it's a good beer, again. Um, appreciate your comments no, on it. I'm not um, a big fan. Sorry. What would you reckon if you would give it a, a rating on that? Do you, do you know what, mate? I've gone very low. Really? I'm going four. Four? Yeah. That has really disappointed me. Okay. Because when someone does a can like this, you're expecting big things, aren't you? I am, you yeah. Know? Much the same as if you have a look at our little logo. I don't know if anybody's actually made any awareness of the logo that we've got now. Big things from this channel, nice looking logo and two numpties that are talking complete yeah. rubbish half the time. But anybody got any thoughts on what they think of our logo? I like it. I, love I think the it's logo. really good. I love the logo. I don't know where they got the idea of two slightly odd looking bearded fellas drinking beer. Wow. 
you know, <laughs> it just works. <laughs> it really does. But, uh, it really does. I'd give this one a seven. You're going to go seven. I'm going to go give four. it a seven. We'll take an average and go somewhere in the middle. Shall we go? F- or we'll just leave it as that. We'll just yeah, have just our own marks on it. Let, if we're going to gonna grade them overall. I think the viewers need to know, yeah. you know, what we both think. Absolutely. Uh, that, that's the whole idea of this channel, isn't it? I mean, it's honest, at least. It's honest. It's a lovely label. I'll give it 10 for the label. But for that, it's a four for me, mate. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's yeah, enough. No, I, I like it. I like it. Well, it does I, It does stay a spicy, lingering bitterness, and it definitely has got that. It does. I'm not getting the big hop flavours that I would have expected. No, though. I was that's expecting big things, obviously. You know. It might be in my well, house. I don't know. I'm not a fan. Is it because it's in a can? Would it be any different draft? No, it wouldn't. Would it be any different in a bottle? Probably it, would. It wouldn't, mate. If I went to an ale house, yeah. And you give me that, I just shake my head and walk out. I'm very disappointed. I'll be drinking on my own again. <laughs> that wouldn't happen, mate. That wouldn't happen. I'd probably order something else. Fair enough. After the straw. Fair enough. But uh, well, yeah, we'll agree to disagree on this one. I think 100, percent and we'll be back again. We're on. We're on the journey still. We're still in the UK. Um, like I said before, we are going to be heading out into the big wide world at some point very, very soon. So keep tuned, keep subscribing, keep liking the videos, keep giving us your comments. Anything that you've got that you think we should taste, mm. anything that you think might split opinions. We're not going to fight on this channel, but you never say never. You might hear Salem, Salem Bob speaking different languages as well. <laughs> you never know. Mm. It's news to me. News to me. I'm looking forward to it. Let's anyway. Go. Cheers, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us again, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.